first thing you're going to want to do is go to the default port of 9443 for the web Tomcat. This will prompt you with a logon. The default username and password is Spectrum and Spectrum. Once you're logged in, click Manage. Select one click web app on the left and then scroll all the way down until you get to the JVM arguments. Here you're going to set your memory to whatever value you'd like. For this purpose, we're just going to double it to 2048. Click apply in the lower right. Notice the configuration is saved. Then you're going to want to restart the Spectrum Web Tomcat service. Please note, in the next section, we're going to change the Web Tomcat server memory. If you only want to restart it once, we can go to that step next and then restart it and both will take effect. We can confirm that the setting took place by going into spec root slash web tomcat slash web swing. Look at the web swing dot config file. Scroll down a little bit until you see the memory setting. Note here. Now we'll go ahead and increase the server memory. Go into Web Tomcat Web Swing directory and edit the webswing.sh file. Scroll down until you see the java underscore opts dash xmx2g and you can change this value to whatever you'd like. For the, this test, we're going to double it. Then you can restart the web Tomcat service. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to increase the Tomcat server memory. If you're ever seeing performance problems or anything like that, this is what you're going to want to increase. The more integrations you have, such as Performance Manager, UIM, you're going to want to increase this value much higher. On Windows, go into the Tomcat bin directory and edit the oneclickservice.conf file. You will find the XMX value, which you can effectively double triple depending on how much memory you have available on the operating system highlighted here. Then save the file and exit and then restart the Spectrum Tomcat service. On Linux you're going to want to go into the spec root slash Tomcat slash bin and edit the Catalina .sh file. Scroll down until you find the Java Ops. Find the dash XMX value and increase it to whatever you'd like. 